we had the whole rosters ordeal in the off season, and I was telling Ray and Ant when Ant was thinking about. I don't know if people know that, but. So your, your your final season has kicked off. Obviously now now being into your I think second weekend of your last season, does it feel any different to you? No. Still feels like the same old thing. I mean, match match weekends always feel the same. I mean, one at a time, you know, knock them out, try to get as many wins as we can. I mean, it's simple as that. Does it has it hasn't felt any different so far? I mean, I, I don't really think it's gonna feel any different. Probably until champs when I know it's my last one. I feel like that's the only time I'm gonna feel like any different at all about a tournament. How did the uh, conversation with your teammates go when you told them that you were gonna retire? I don't even think I did tell them. Did I tell them? I have no idea. I don't even think. Well, I was. They uh, found out whenever when everybody else. Found well, no, nah, because we we had the whole rosters ordeal in the off season, and I was telling Ray and Ant when Ant was thinking about potentially leaving. I don't know if people know that, but um, when he was thinking about potentially leaving the team, he told me, he was like, if you stay, I'll stay. And I already was going to retire. And I told that to a lot of people. Um, but you, 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 were, you were gambling there. You told Zinni. You told, like, you were just telling. Well, I told everyone because I, I thought that in my mind, like, I was done. And then, I don't know, and. Ant said that I had my trip to Hawaii. I kind of rethought everything. And then he said that he was thinking about potentially leaving. He had offers from other teams. And he was like, if you retire, I leave. And I was like pleading with them because I personally wasn't very happy with my season last year. Like, I feel like that's kind of one of the big reasons why I wanted to retire because I didn't like Vanguard. I didn't have a good season on Vanguard up to my standards. Um, I mean, I didn't have like a horrible season, but I definitely didn't have like a good season in my eyes. Um so I was like really contemplating it because of that. And he was like, if you leave, then I leave. And I was like, well, shit. That just made, that struck a chord with me. Like, oh, well, if he still has trust in me like that to be making a decision based off of my decision, then I want to run it back for one more year, try out a new game. Maybe I hated Vanguard and it just wasn't my game, you know, because Cold War the year before that, I had a really good year. So it was like, I mean, that's kind of how Call of Duty is. Like game to game, we're always forced to, bend and twist our own game with all these different mechanics that get thrown at us and the new guns and new maps and you know it's it's always hard so i think that after vanguard because I, I would label that as like my first like bad year mm -hmm. people always say world war ii but i had a like pretty good year in world war ii besides champs they look at one series and judge my whole year off it um who's they a lot of people just people are just uh like players no not uh, players. like the crowd yeah okay Players, def yeah, players didn't think I was bad at World War II because I definitely wasn't bad at World War II. But, yeah, so Vanguard was my first, like, bad year. Didn't know what I was going to do. Didn't really tell anyone. Ant told me that. That's They already kind of knew I was contemplating it, I think, and then that's just kind of how I went. Obviously, you know, currently you're ranked probably the best player in the league. Mm -hmm. I sent you a, a text that said that you cannot run away from who you are, Simba. Um, does that weigh in on you, like, you know, I, I understand that the mentality and, and, and you know, your, your peace of mind in not having the amount of pressure that's on you um, be that. But, like, you know, when, when you look at the scores and you look at your hands and you look at, you know, the, 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 the amount of bodies that you leave dead across every single map as you continually to just excel as a, as a player, does that have any effect on you at all as, as, as far as your decision no. on, on doing this? No. Um, I could go out the best player this year. I'd still want to move on and pursue other things. When you say other things, what do you, you know, I, I, besides just, con just content. content. I've never had the freedom. Like people don't understand the CDL era. Like it's, it's become increasingly hard since I've gotten older to keep up with content. Um, and every time I say that people just shut me down. So it's kind of fucking annoying. Like every time I'm like, if I, people, if I want to stream, like people don't understand we have stuff in the morning, so we have content in the morning most days during the week. I would say two or three days during the week we have content before our 12 to 1 where we go over, like, stuff we want to work on for the day. Then we have scrims from 1 to, like, I would say 7. And then if I want to stream after that, that's 7 to 10.30, like, 10 minimum. So that's, like, think about that. Every like single day, day. Yeah, every single day I'm, like, and people are going to, be like, will you play video games to stop crying? But it's like, 
after every single day of that with really not many days off. Like today's supposed to be our day off. It's Monday after our match day, but we have practice today. I have content today and then we fly out tomorrow. So it's like people don't understand our schedule and I can't blame them for that because they don't like see into our lives. And it, But I try to explain it, uh, but it gets frustrating every time I try to explain it when people are like, like, stop complaining. Like I right. went to work from nine to five today and I'm like, that's good. Everyone has their fucking problems and everyone has like their... I mean, our schedules are insane. I'm, yeah, they I mean, are. they are. They're insane. People don't understand. No, no, no pe- pe- those people who don't understand or or, or give too much, uh, too much, you know, shit talk against it, like, they truly don't understand what it takes to be at your level and compete because you have no days off. There are zero days off. Now, do yeah. that for fourteen years from fifteen years old when I'm not even supposed to be working yet. I'm supposed to be in school. I've yeah. I've been doing this since I was like thirteen. Yeah, people don't get that. I started way before other people and. They just don't understand that that was the life. Obviously not the content and stuff like that before, but that was like the life. If you want to be the best, you got to literally drop everything and just play, 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 play. That's it's literally, that's all it is. And yeah, it's frustrating sometimes. Do you see your your um, your new years or, or, or your next iteration of, of your career from a content perspective being more of a, of a streamer? Do you have any ideas for shows or... Any of that stuff? Like, do you, do you, do you, have you started to plan out what things you would like to do? Yeah. I mean, I have a couple ideas. I mean, I've always thought that I've had great ideas when it comes to content. I mean, look at my YouTube channel in the past. Like, I can make a small idea into a series and have a great time doing it, and people would enjoy it. Like, the 70 series checklist challenge, you know, like little ideas like that. And I can throw little twists and stuff in there. But like, again, it's just so hard to, to be able to, to do that kind of stuff. Like, whenever we're in season, it's, it's practically impossible. I mean, it really is. And it wasn't always like that because practice wasn't always as intense. The schedule changed. Like back in the day, scrims used to be at like three, four. So you had like all morning to be able to wake up and shoot content. Now we start practice at noon. And I, if I want to work out in the morning or we have content in the morning or I have to get my shots in the morning, like there's just so many other things that take away time. And obviously I could do it after scrims, but like, then again, it's like, there's no time to, to rest and relax after scrims if you do that. So it's like, I have so many ideas that I just don't really get to execute or want to execute. And then you have to think about other people's schedules that I would want to bring in. Like their schedules don't line up with mine at all. And it's like, it's just a whole lot of different things that I want to do that I can't do because I compete. And I I'll always love competing. I always love like a match. Like it's always fun. But, like, the process to get to the matches and be able to perform at your best is the part that's, like, weighs you down, in a sense. Because it's, like, that's every day. Like, you know what I'm saying? So. I'm looking forward to, obviously, you, you, you have a T2P. Uh, I'm looking forward to Triple T, uh, which is a new show that you and I are going to do when you, when you retire. It's called the Texas Taco Tour. Where we're gonna go and visit the most fire taco places out there is is that the sort of uh, like thing that you like to do? Obviously, there's there's a little bit of travel involved. Uh, today I fly out to Vegas, and then from there I meet you guys or meet up with you guys in Raleigh. Um, you know, for, for me it's also becoming a little bit more difficult to 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 travel. So I can only imagine like you know spending ninety nine percent of your day because you only have maybe from ten p.m. to maybe three a.m. to just have your time. You is in the uh, Buzz and, That's and, and the cats. And people don't get that. That's why, like, I get frustrated because I'm not frustrated, like, at people, like I said, because, like, they just don't understand. Like, they have their lives and they see what they do, but they don't see what we do. So it's hard for, like, me to get frustrated. But, yeah, it's, like, I mean, days that I get off scrim sometimes, like, like 8 p.m. until, like, 1 a.m. is usually when I go to bed is when we get to hang out. But, like, I mean, that's five hours, but it's, like, I mean, is is tired? I'm tired. Like, yeah. It's like you know what I'm saying. It's like you you you're looking forward to having a a regular nine to five. Yeah, I can wake up and I'm not on my schedule right now. I'm on my team schedule right now. You know what I'm saying? It's like I've never had the opportunity to be on my schedule where I want to wake up at 10 a.m. and I can stream at one, and from then I I have 10 to one in the morning to go take care of stuff that I have to take care of or do what I have to do or all of that stuff. Um. And then I can stream for six hours if I want. I can make my schedule. Like, say say there's something I want to watch or there's a game on. Like, there's so many times that I just can't watch things that I want to watch. And it's just, it's a lot. Like, people don't understand. Competing is, like, everything. And when you're competing, it's all you're doing. It's all you're thinking about. It's all you're doing. Last night I was fucking miserable. We lost the Thieves. Like, 
I'm just sad all night. Like that's a whole night ruined. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's hard and people don't get that. Do you think that you'll be able to, to sort of set that apart? Obviously you've been competing for 13 years and still to this day, you let l losses get to you. I mean, uh, losses will always, losses are never easy. I mean, it doesn't matter who you are, how well your season is going. Like losses always suck. Like, yeah. We practice all week. You don't want to lose. Like that's what we're practicing for. We practice all week to choke a five, three lead map two and, Potentially go up 2-0, like, yeah, we're fucking pissed. And then we get bitched at because we choked it, and we know we choked it. It's like, yeah, it's 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 the worst It's the worst feeling ever is losing. It's the worst. Yeah, because it's a compounding effect of not just you and your own mental, but also, you know, your teammates also, like, sort of all Like, we all know, it. yeah, we all know we fucked up, but it's like, but we can't do anything about it. We just have to move on and hopefully fix it for the next time. So at the beginning of this year, uh, week one, it started out with a little bit of drama. Um, obviously, a lot of it was more towards the situation as opposed to to the rocker and although the rocker did pull it out and, and they did have a say in how that that series went mm -hmm. how do you think that would have how do you think we would have handled that had the rules been reversed because i've always been a big fan of just saying it just you know it's their win it's obvious would you have had the 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 same sort of energy in saying guys there was no way that we're going to win that let them take it I mean, it's it's impossible to say unless we're put in the situation, but all I can say is the streak is GA'd and it was accidentally pulled out. I actually accidentally pulled it out against London. Uh, again, our match against London, map one, I pulled out my SAE instead of my cruise missile uh, on the last hill. I mean, you can go back and watch it. Um, I accidentally pulled it out and like I instantly closed it. So I know apparently there's a glitch where you, you can't close it, but like I closed mine. I, it's, it's impossible to say. I don't know. I don't know. I don't care. It's in the past. I mean, I still think they're scumbags, but. Uh, what does success look like to you for 2023 for your last season? I mean, besides obviously, you know, winning them all, right? That's I just want to win once. You just want to win once, no matter which one. Doesn't matter which one. Obviously, I'd like it to be champs, but I just want to win once. Uh, it's serendipitous that your last tournament could be, well, your last tournament will be champs, and your last tournament also happens to be your 100th uh, tournament. Uh, are you, do you care at all about those, those stats, those numbers? Or is that just something that people just sort of put too much uh, way into? No, nah, I mean, it's 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 a coincidence that it, it levels out to that. I mean, we have to make champs first. This year is going to be very competitive by the first week or the first couple weeks. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. It doesn't – I don't really think about it. Um, it's just funny that it's the 100th tournament. Hopefully we go out on a bang. Last question. Obviously, you and your, and your you know, your hardcore – work ethic and mentality do you think that you will be able to sort of take a step back and and rethink the way that your grind is uh post-retirement or do you think that you're going to bring this that same level or would you give yourself a little bit of a break and say to yourself i'm going to take a week off or i'm going to take two weeks off i'm going to fucking travel to london or something well if you think about it i would say our days on average like just what we're required to do like the bare minimum, get on for practice, content, stuff like that. I would say our days, days are probably like average of nine hours, about. I would say like typically it's about nine hours um, of doing things. So I think that I'll probably stream for like, I mean, I would say six to eight hours pretty much regularly. I mean, I'm going to obviously when football is on, I'm taking Sundays off. So like. But, like, I'm still going to grind. I'm still going to do a lot. I mean, if I'm not scrimming and stuff, I'm going to replace it with something. I'm not just going to sit around and do nothing. I, I could never do that. Um, I mean, I definitely could do that. But I'm, not, I'm never going to allow myself to do that. Yeah. Um, but I, I, don't, I don't know. When I first start content, I might, like, ease up a little bit just because I've never really had an extended break. Um, I don't know. We'll see. It's hard to say. I don't know. I don't know where I'm going to be mentally at the end of the year. I don't know. If I'm going to be burnt out at the end of the year, I don't know. I just don't know. So, but I want to hit the ground running. Like I'm, I'm excited to do content. I've been excited to do content. Obviously, it's been a major factor into weighing into if, when I want when I want to retire. So I'm excited to do it. Um, one, it's one. just it's going to be a really big like sh like shift for me though. Like it's going to be like a cultural like oh, yeah. like day to day shift. Oh, yeah. Like because all I've known is compete scrim practice practice you know like it's all i've known ever so it's gonna be like a i i'm excited because like obviously competing is incredibly stressful 
Um, so I'm excited to see what my life looks like afterwards when I have no stress, I can make my schedule. Obviously, I'll probably still stress out about little things, but not the same as like, not the same as like my my mindset and on like a season. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. like I stress about the season. Like I'm, I want per- perfection. I want to win every match. I want to go in and have a great year and make everyone happy. You know, but like that's fucking stressful because everyone depends on us. You know, it's like so that is stressful. So I'm I'm excited to see what it'll be like afterwards where. People are depending on me to stream and make them laugh and not win games. Yeah. Because I can do that any day of the week. Yeah. I can stream and make people laugh all day. That's my one of my favorite things to do. But winning every single match and, and the perfection that's expected is not such an easy thing. especially that's not sustainable. Well, I mean, with the competition in the league, it's just hard. I mean, it's just it's hard to win now. It's it's really hard to win. Well, anyway, uh, I, this this is gonna do it for this uh, episode of uh, Hex Ask Gump a bunch of questions and. Uh, looking forward to it. look. I, 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 for one, and I'm sure I can speak for for the majority of the green wall, if not all of the green wall, is that life life is going to be different. Life is going to look different. Competition is going to be different. But I am looking forward to to seeing you know moments that you that you will share with people while you stream. Moments that you will share with people that will last forever on on, on video format uh, as we as we go on into into our later years. So I'm, I'm excited. I'm, I'm sad but excited. I am too. It's bittersweet, but. You know, you got to move on at some point. That mustache. How how much longer are you gonna are you gonna let that grow? We'll see how the first major goes. How would you? How, hey, if, if if you win the major, is it a season long thing? Yeah. If they win the major, I'm gonna make everybody enough to get a mustache. If we win we the major, I'm go I'm going nuts. Yeah. If we win the major, uh, I'm gonna make everyone. I mean, Sh- Shotzi, you know, still got a couple of more years to be able to grow a mustache, but uh, like Pamash, Pamash also can't grow a mustache. It took me 35 years to be able to connect these two, so. Anyway, Seth, thank you so much. Uh, we'll see you guys next time. Have you and your teammates discussed or have they discussed like who would be a good replacement for you? <laughs> yes, I have a few people that I've thought about. Uh, uh-